I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. Yesterday it rained for the third time since May. California is headed for its driest year on record, so this gentle rain was a welcome relief. Since it rains so infrequently, I thought it would be a great opportunity to check out my third winter garden and see how it's growing. Let's take a tour. It was 48 degrees and raining all morning, but the white-crowned sparrows were out in force, searching for food. They were singing for their supper. <laughs> uh, weed. Oh, shoot. Missed the root. A lot of weeds down there popping up. Gotta get the rest of my netting on here. My sweet peas. So they go that way. Garlic. Let's see if it's raining under here. I see water drops, so yeah. Check out my four amigos here. The great thing about cold and rain is that no cabbage moths are laying eggs. Let's see if we can find a worm. Usually find one or two. I don't know what this is. This really concerns me. Didn't happen last year. Something else I need to investigate. Blackberry is actually looking okay. And the chard. This is the easiest and best thing to grow and one of the most nutritious things you can eat. And beautiful, just stunningly beautiful. Can you imagine a whole field of that? See if how this broccoli is doing, if it's getting any of the rainwater. Well, the leaves are all wet, so that's a good sign. And those leaves don't look as bug damaged. Oh, that one does. Oh, shoot. This one. Yeah, this one's got a lot of damage. I don't see a worm, though. This one doesn't have any raindrops. There's no rain back here. Why? That's fairly obvious. Look what's above it. Big pineapple guava bush. Sheltering it from the rain. Okay. Monarch caterpillars have eaten this one clean down to nothing. This one has been eaten clean down to nothing. There's nothing left. Check over here. Ah, yeah, I've got big ones over here. Ooh, that one looks, that's an unusual looking thing. This looks like it's starting to make a chrysalis. However, it doesn't do that on the milkweed plant. So something's not right. They're all underneath leaves trying to get out of the rain. So that's one, two, three, four. Big one there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, big one, eleven. Just eleven, and this one little. 
plant right there. What else? Celery loves water, so let's make sure the celery is getting some rainwater. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Remember I have these rings on here. I've cut the bottoms out of the pots and put that around there to pre prevent the cutworm from mowing it down. Let's check out this kale. Ooh, that's looking healthy. Yeah. How about here? This is um, white Russian kale. My poor princess flower. I'm not sure what got this, but I cut it back. There is some signs of life in these little buds. So hoping for the best there. Got a few snow peas growing up, ready to grow up either side of this trellis. I put in just a handful of volunteer amaranth, which came up in my peas, transplanted it to here. My little orange tree has a few blossoms and a few oranges. This is my more mature garlic. Oh, and this is my pitcher sage. This is a California native, and I cannot wait to see the blooms on this because the hummingbirds are supposed to love it. Most of the year, my garden relies on city water. So I want to get a rainwater capture system. No matter where you live, fresh water is a precious natural resource. Don't waste it. If you have a question, please leave me a comment and share Late Bloomer with your friends. It's never too late to learn to grow vegetables. I'm Kay, I'm a Late Bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time.